since Washington's win over the Philadelphia Eagles in Sunday night's NFC East division game, there has been little buzz about Washington going to the playoffs and more about Doug Peterson's decision to pull Jalen Hurts in order to get Nate Sudfeld, the Eagles' third-string quarterback, playing time. This is what Doug Peterson had to say on the matter when asked after the game. Yes, I was coaching to win. Uh, yes, that was my decision solely. Um, Nate has uh, obviously been here for uh, four years, um, and uh, I felt that uh, he, he, he deserved an opportunity to, uh, to, get, some, to get some snaps. And um, um, listen, uh, if, if there's anything out there that, that thinks that I was not trying to win the game, I mean, you know, Ertz is out there, Brandon Graham's out there, Darius Slay's out there. You know, all our top guys are still on the field at the end, so uh, we were, we were going to win the game. All of the talking head pundits on the sports shows are all talking about Peterson's decision. Even Joe Judge, the Giants head coach, had to chime in with his diatribe. One thing to keep in mind with this season is we had a lot of people opt in to this season. Okay, We had a lot of people opt in. All right, coaches, players, that includes family members as well. All right, so... To look at a group of grown men who I asked to give me effort on a day-in, day-out basis and to empty the tank, and then I can look them in the eye and assure them that I'm always going to do everything I can to put them at a competitive advantage and play them in a position of strength. To me, you don't ever want to disrespect those players and their effort and disrespect the game. But nobody is talking about Washington's story. Nobody is talking about all the stuff Washington has went through. Alex Smith's gruesome injury in 2018, the off-season front office junk, Coach Rivera battling cancer, and never missing a game. This is what Coach Rivera had to say after beating the Eagles and securing the division title. Well, I mean, honestly, truthfully, it, 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 it honestly doesn't matter. You play who's out there. I'm not going to apologize for winning. Apparently, that's what everybody wants me to do is apologize for winning. I'm not going to because you play the game as it's set up, okay? Nobody complained when Pittsburgh did what they did last night against Cleveland. I mean, come on, this, this is just the way it is, okay? We got in the playoffs, we're seven and nine, okay? I've been seven, eight, one in the playoffs. I was on an eight and eight team that was in the playoffs. And you don't apologize for getting into the playoffs, okay? You apologize for losing in the playoffs, at least I believe you do, but you don't apologize for getting in because it's, it's been a hard roll. For us and, and and nobody seems to care about that nobody cared two weeks ago when we didn't have our best some of our best players nobody cared last week when we didn't have them so why should we be concerned if a coach decides to do something he thinks is best for his team okay that's the thing i think people need to understand this is just the way the games play this is just the way things happen a lot of people are happy about it a lot of people aren't happy about it and that's just tough that's just the way it is okay i mean so many things have happened in this world that are tough that are hard Okay, this is just the game that we're playing and we're going to play the game as it comes to us. And I'm not going to apologize. I'm, I'm not. That's just the way it is. I think Rivera said it best. There's no need to expand. It's the obvious media bias against Washington and for New York. The fact of the matter is the New York talking heads wanted the Giants in the playoffs. It's the sexier game for them. It's more of a ratings draw. But you know what? As a lifelong Washington Redskins fan, I am not going to apologize for my team winning the terrible East Division and getting into the playoffs to host Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't have to. Washington was the better team in the division. And I believe they are only going to get better. Now... What do I think about their upcoming matchup against Tom Brady? You know, in the past, I would have just been happy to know that they made it to the playoffs and not expecting anything else. But guess what? This team has taken on Ron Rivera's personality. He has stamped a culture change that makes me believe in this team. I think our front four can get pressure to Tom Brady. And Brady has had issues in the past when the pressure has gotten to him. 
The Bucks are not going to hang 40 points on this defense. That is one prediction I will stick with. The difference is going to be how healthy Alex Smith is. It's obvious on Sunday night that his mobility was even worse than it was before the calf injury. Once Smith was out of the pocket, he was done for. And this is something that in the past would have been the exact opposite. So expect the Bucks defense to try and mimic what the Eagles did. To force Smith out of the pocket and to make him make plays with his legs. Don't be surprised if Henneke does show up at some point in the game. However, I still believe Alex Smith gives this team the best chance to win. And he's going to have to bring his A game with him. My head prediction is, with the Bucks taking this game, probably 28-13. to 13. But, my heart says that Chase Young is going to give Tom Brady fits. And somehow, the defense keeps this game closer and the football team finds a way to win at the end of the game. I'm going to go with my heart. I love this team. They're not done yet. Let's start believing in this team and this franchise again. Hell to the Washington football team. Hell victory.